spirit has propelled her forward. Now, Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. Well, very good evening, everybody. The NCAA Selection Show, Selection Sunday, right, that we all love, just 33 days away. <clears throat> Up until tonight, Syracuse men's basketball team has not even been in that conversation for the big dance. But that would change on Tuesday night at the JMA Dome in Syracuse when the Orange got their biggest win in years, knocking off seventh-ranked North Carolina. Judah Mintz and J.J. Starling combined for 58 points. Syracuse shot at 62% from the floor. I mean, they were all going in. Their highest percentage since 2011. Syracuse students storming the court after they knock off a top 10 team for the first time since 2019. 86-79 the final. The Orange go to 16-9 overall. 7-7 seven and seven now in the ACC Conference. Well, the first televised high school basketball regular season game in the neighborhood of 20 years, shall we say, is set for Thursday on our sister station, WNYA My Four. It's CBA against Albany Academy at the UHY Center at Siena College. Monday, we were hashtag Raj on the road at the Albany Academy practice. Tuesday, we were at CBA. Brothers who will be, uh, or 10 and 9 in the year, will be a dangerous team in the class AAA playoffs when the seedings come out on Wednesday. Brothers have plenty of talent, led by their freshman, J.J. Osinski, who's averaging 20 points per game. Game. CBA looking forward to Thursday night's non-league challenge against an Albany Academy team. It is 13 and 4. JJ has done a very good job for us, and uh, he's going to need a little help going against these guys because uh, they're going to put a lot of pressure on us, and they're going to make us do some things that that maybe we're not used to, and uh, we got to we got to execute. We just got to keep preparing and practice, do our best, and prepare for a good game on Thursday. All right, should be fun. Here it is. Uh, that's the matchup Thursday at Siena College, UHY Center. I'll have the play-by-play -play call along with Stephen D'Agostino starting with a pregame show at 6 p.m. and the tip time right around 6.07. On to a Tuesday night now in high school basketball, and a, we'll call it a tune-up game with the Catholic Central Girls, which a team is expected to make a deep run in the upcoming playoffs. Catholic Central hosting Mohannes and the Crusaders are ranked 19th in the state, and junior Tenevia Turpin has has plenty to do with that. She makes a nice drive here in transition. She ends up with 12 points. Mohannison responds in transition. Ella Mullen, just an eighth grader, gets the lay-in. And then Turpin with the dish to the sophomore, Amari Gaddy. She ends up with 14 for the Crusaders. But it was Catholic Central junior Kristen Foglia who ends up with a game-high 17. And Catholic Central cruises to a 69-44 win over Mohan. The Crusaders now 18-1 and uh, overall remain in first place in the Colonial Council. Also on the Caledon Industry scoreboard, Avery Park capped off a perfect 20-0 season with a win over Albany High. News Channel 13 All-Star Taylor Houlihan, who was this year's top pick, led the Warriors with 17 points. For the rest of the scores, go to our website, uh, look for the Caledon Industries scoreboard. And finally, for this week's Spectrum Athlete of the Week, we go to Shaker High School, where a female wrestler found her footing in a male-dominated sport and became champion for other girls. Kaylin Drake began competing on the Shaker High Boys varsity wrestling team as a sophomore. She made history as the school's first female wrestler to qualify for the boys sectionals in 2022. Girls wrestling, wrestling was added the following year. And then on January 26th, Drake became Shaker's first female wrestler to win a state championship at the Girls State Invitational. As Drake prepares to wrestle on the collegiate level, she says she's proud of the door she's open for other girls in the sports. If you're thinking like, hey, this might not be for me, you know, like I'm not getting anywhere. Just remember, I've been wrestling since seventh grade. I, I didn't win really until my 10th grade. My 11th grade was, year was still rough. I took fifth at the States. I wasn't, I wasn't a champion yet. This is just one step for me towards my bigger goals and it's all part of the process. So just trust the process. She trusted the process, all right, and it's paid off. If you'd like to nominate a Spectrum after the week, just log on to our website, fill out the registration form, where you can scan the QR code on your screen. And have a night for Syracuse. When you all shoot right. at 62% from the floor, you're probably going to be in a lot of games. All right, could shake up the tournament. We'll yeah, see. I mean, puts them in the conversation now because right. they weren't. Okay, yeah. thank you, Roger. Look at the weather, Winnie. We're talking about some wind for tomorrow. Yeah, and winds have already started to pick up tonight. Stella, I just looked at the Amsterdam cam on the CDP HP first one.